Hello, I'm Sacho Luis Noguera Serrano, President of the European Buddhist Society. And we are here in the Hombu Dojo in Valencia, Spain, studying with Sidoj Jordan some important details about the characteristics of some studies regarding especially IQ Jutsu. We are, we are going to talk today re, uh, related with this monotsuki, this curiosity, the difference between Kaishi no Heiho, Oshai no Heiho, and different studies that have relation with, uh, with this, uh, this type of, uh, of way of uh, reacting against the action of the, and the motion of the opponent. In this case, Kaishi no Heiho uh, in IQ Yutsu uh, covers all the techniques that we are going to uh, react and counterattack the attack of the enemy. In this, uh, in this video, we are going to explain different and several sequences that are free forms uh, and special studies that our tradition has gathered for uh, understanding these kind of concepts. In this case, we are going to study a special, uh, a special study that is called Renkaku no Iko. When we are calling about Renkaku in Aikyu Yutsu is when the opponent is going to grab my, my sleeve, my lapel and try to attack. In this kind of study, he will try to, to throw me and I will use my hara in a harage way and uh, explain some kaeshi no iko forms of uh, defense. Then, in this way, let's start with some special uh, throws that Oscar San Doyo Cho for, for this school will attack me and I will defend and I will explain the concepts and details of these uh, so much interesting characteristics of this study. Then, please, Oscar San, on the next mask. For the first uh, scenery that we are going to study, it's, for example, when he is trying uh, to throw me by a direct uh, type of grab of catching me, that it will grab and grip my, my sleeve on, on this hand and my lapel. And starting this way, he will try to throw as a regular throw by his hip or by his back in order to throw me to the ground. Then, the first thing, as we are talking about Aikido Jutsu, we have to have, we need, uh, we require a strong base, the, the employment of the Hara, and at the same time, we are gonna make a soft movement on my, with my key on my hands, like a can, like a sword, making this and blocking with this movement, the Hara forward. This is why this is Hara Day, because we are having control of my Hara and having control of the, uh, of the Hara's opponent. Then, by this way, then, first of all, go to this side, I have this control, and of course, we will pass to this position and control it, making going to the ground, etc. The idea of this Kaishi no Hiko is he is grabbing me, he has, uh, he is trying to throw me so strong and I am defending only employing a lower base, a strong hara and a soft movement in order to avoid him to throw me. For the second way, we're gonna make a different way. Right now, he is going to grab my arm in what is called uh, ude Sasai, or Sasai Ude Ganse Kyotoshi. In this way, we are going to make the same movement, the same motion of my body passing to this position. Right now, I have only a small closest look here. Please. What I am doing is to, with my hand, with my outer side of my arm, I am blocking on the on the shoulder, making him his hara to be restrained and his whole body its control. Then from here we could go to the ground, touch to the side, and of course to make the end technique. But the key here is to understand 
the, the first step is to say to pass to the side and make this control with my hara blocking and he is in a position that he could uh, he is not able to run away. Let's go to different and interesting uh, other scenarios that it could happen. For example, when he is trying to do, uh, for example, a Ganse Kyotoshi Kata, to say like the most known Kata Guma. From here, he is going to the, he is riding my lead, he is going down in order to take myself over his shoulders and uh, throw me to the ground. Then from here, I block my hara, restrain his arm in this point in order to avoid the strain that he has based on his abs here. And right now, pass and my with my ankle, I restrain the other arm. Right now, I have the, the whole control in his back here, having this. Of course, we could make him uh, put the hand on the ground or maybe restrain him with my leg here and of course passing and controlling for an ending technique. Very important, as in the other techniques, in the other sequence, the use of the hara and of course the well positioning, lowering the base, having a strong base and this is the key. Let's go to a uh, so much interesting uh, sequence ending uh, restriction that surely will amaze you because it's one of the most characteristic ways of Susumo Motoshima explained in the Ogawa Sensei school and we have received by Shido Jordan. Then in this case he will try he will grab both lapels and he will try to choke my neck for example with this. First thing I will do is Going outside, I will try to grab the neck and make a strong movement that he's reacting, making strong the neck. Right now then, the arms will be a little weaker. My other hand turns over, grab at the same point, thrown in the head, and right now we have this position. I go a little to the side, and right now, Low down my base, knee down with my right knee, and I have this control. I twist the wrist here, I have this control outside, uh, backside the neck. Then, at this point, it's very important to make him to put a little to the side in order because I am gonna turn around by my back in order to grip his leg then it's important to have the leg close to me. If he has his leg so far, it would be impossible to do this technique. Then for explaining to the camera this technique, I will start differently. I will come to this position and right now I am here. Okay? Right now I will, I need to have this arm extended and having the weight on this point in order to don't lose the enemy, don't, don't make him run away. Then, it's very important, the control on the upper body, I mean the shoulders. Right now, low down my leg and go to the other side to reach the leg. Right now, I have this control and I could weight my back on his lower back here, near the gluteus area and I have the control. Right now, I extend and release, and I have the final control. As you can see, we have right here this control, okay? This control. We are lowering my weight on his back, and here we have uh, like a circle we are trying to make himself a certain back and we have the control. He is now clapping on the ground in order to, to avoid more, uh, more uh, to strengthen more the technique. Then we have here this control and release. 
right now, we have ended. As you could see, it's so much interesting. Let's go to other technique, other way to arrive to this point. Right now, he's trying to perform a uh, kangyotoshi. This way, wrapping my sleeve, going to the side, and trying to do, like you could see, a hook on my leg in order to fall to my backside to the ground. Right here, what I will do is I will turn 180 degrees on the side. And right now, grip his leg and the other arm to this point. Please don't lose your balance. Right now, when we are here, we will make a twist on the wrist in order to put the, the strength, to put the force on his shoulder. Sorry for giving my back to the camera. Then right now it's important because we need to put on the shoulder for making him to put uh, face down to the ground. Right now we could wait. We have this control here and this we need to go to this point. And right now we have the control here. Right now we could release and of course, we could pass to several other restraining techniques. As you can see, we have arrived for, uh, to this point by several ways. Then it's like a series, okay? This way of ending is like a series. Let's go right now to the final sequence, the final idea that we will cover today for Kaes in Ohejo. Right now, we are going out of the Renkaku. Until now, all the techniques were in a uh, in chain position. Uh, he's grabbing me so strong, and I need uh, to defend against uh, an attack in a very close distance. Right now, he's attacking myself in a Makuchi. What I will do is right here, making him to lock down his position. One more time. Right here, we have this and this control. I grab his neck and turn the head in order to expose his hara, his abs, outside. Right now, when I have him out of balance, I put to my side and restrain his head downside. Right now, with his, uh, with his neck uh, bended, I could restrain both arms, closing and having this control. Now to the side, we could uh, make him to sit, and right now, pass to the side. And of course, we could press him with my knee, kneeing down in his shoulder, in his back. We have the control as in other ways to end the technique. Then, uh, in order to summarize what we have studied today, we have covered several sequences, several ideas, in most of them starting from a renkaku no giko position, is to say, the opponent is grabbing my lapel and my sleeve and trying to throw by a, a hip throw or by other type of throw, maybe a shoulder throw, etc. Then, starting from this position, uh, we are gonna use my hara in order to have, uh, of course, an elegant position, but at the same time a powerful position in order to avoid this kind of attack. And making the kaeshi, say, the returning technique. Some masters uh, say that this school also understood as osai no heiho. Osai, it's to control. Then what we are doing is a strategy, but more like a soldier way of making the control. And some other masters say that Osai no Heiho is not in that way. Osai no Heiho, it's for example, when I, for example, try to attack, maybe from one attack, and after this, I have the control, I cover other kind of restrict, restricting techniques in order to, to end the enemy. And this will be the idea of Osai no Heiho. As a last curiosity for today, we need to understand what is uh, special techniques from the season that cover the idea of when someone is restrained, 
how to go out. And this is called uh, especially Osai Nigeru or uh, Taiho Nigeru. It's to escape from situations that someone is, of course, is covered, it's maybe uh, being so much restrained. Then, in order to, to understand what is happening here, the idea is, for example, when he is restraining myself, for example, in a mimic technique, maybe he performs Ude Osai, and I am going to the ground, I am ending the technique, for example, he is having this control, of course, not arriving to the end, because when he reads the final, the end, to say, when he is making my, draining my energy down, it's impossible to escape. But of course, in the transition, arriving to the end, we have some gaps. And in these gaps, when he is completely uh, clear that he has the, the, rest, the final restriction, we could surprise in that position, in that way. Then, for example, of course, when why now we are here, we could close and we have this. Right now, we have this exposed to myself. I recover my position because we are talking about Aikiyu Yutsu and I have my knee blocking his knee here. Right now, I have the control and of course I could attack the ankle or pass to different restrict, restricting techniques that we have studied in other studies of Aikiyu Yutsu alone. Then, with this, we have covered several studies today. Kaishi no Heiho, starting from Renkaku position or not, maybe some attack like Makuchi. The difference between Osai no Heiho and Kaishi no Heiho. And at the end, only explain a little details about what is the study called Osai Nigeru. Thank you very much. I hope you have liked uh, this this video and please keep watching and following us and thank you very much. Goodbye.